How to use Playground AI. Playground AI is an image AI creation tool that's very powerful. And before we look at the pricings, I recommend you to first get started for free as that's what I'm about to show you right now. And then later on, I'm going to show you what's included in the pricing. What do those things actually mean? And you'll be able to figure out if it's worth it or not. So let's get started for free and sign in with Google. So you'll first be greeted with this tutorial. And it's just a very basic tutorial. I'm going to type in car cyberpunk BMW or something like that. And there you go. I've completed the tutorial and let me now show you how to properly do this. So let's get on to the first thing. Now you can set the width and the height of your image. If you want your resolution to be bigger, for example, this is a square resolution by 1024 pixels. If you want more resolution, you're going to have to look at the pricing. Now to drag around this screen, you hold the space and then just drag click where you want your frame to be here in the prompt guidance. I'm going to show you an example of that as well. So let's type in Sandcastle City, for example, and if the prompt guidance is zero, it's going to try and be far away from Sandcastle City. But if we, for example, get the prompt guidance to 30 and click generate, the picture that the AI is going to create is going to be a lot closer to what I typed in. Now here, these are a bit weird because I was using this RPG filter the whole time. So let's delete these. Now this is with the prompt guidance to zero. Let's set it to 30. And there you go. Here you can see the difference between those two values yourself. Now what I really want to focus on today is image to image. How image to image works is if you already have a photo that you like, you can upload it to here and then AI will structure the AI image around the image that you've uploaded that I want to use for my wallpaper. I'm going to use this. And now you might be thinking, well, you want to use this for your wallpaper, but the resolution is really small. However, don't worry about that. There are other tools that I'm going to show you to enhance your resolution without losing that much quality or a significant visible amount of quality. So let's have the image strength to 100 type in cyberpunk. Now let's zoom in by pressing control and then scrolling up. And here I'm able to instantly tell some differences. For example, this registration plate is not the same at all. Let's just get the image strength to 88 and let's see what it generates. So now I'm going to show you what filters are here. I can go all the way down to neon Mecca. And now this picture is going to be in more of a neon Mecca style. I really like this picture. I want to use this picture but I want to remove this license plate. So how am I going to do that is by going into exclude from image license plate. So as we can see, it tried removing the license plate, but it clearly didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So here at the bottom, we can see control traits. Now I'm very glad I chose this picture because this picture shows a very far thing in the background and a very close up shot of something as well. So what we can do here is upload an image and then go to depth. And this image is going to have the same depth as the image that I've just uploaded. We can go to control weight. And here you go. As you can see, the white parts are the close ups and the dark black parts are far away. Now we can draw a drawing on this picture right here, cover up this license plate, get the image strength to be way weaker, then click out paint. And as you can see that tried removing our license plate. So playground AI is not only a image generating tool, you can also see other people's generations. So let's go to the community feed. And here you can see all of the different pictures that people have made or prompted for AI to make. Now you might be asking yourself now, well, if I make an image, how do I import this image to be on the community feed? Now I have no images, so I'm just going to create a random one.
and edit in canvas. I'm going to delete these photos in the back. And now I'm going to click publish. And there we go. Now people are going to rate your photo. And if your photo gets rated higher up, you're going to appear at the top of the community feed. Now, how you're going to be able to look at the pricing is deleting this feed, typing in pricing. And here you're going to see the pricing. Now we're currently on the free and this is perfectly usable for most people. Most people don't need to make over 1000 images per day. What you're basically paying for is more accurate images and faster image creation. And there we go. That's how to use Playground AI. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.